20 ounces of pure heart attack. I'm lost. How did I get to the North Pole? Somebody used my card to buy themselves tickets to Seattle. I've never even been to Seattle. I'm just a girl on a road trip. Oh my god. Christmas times. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Open's that easy? Yeah. Ooh, I got a V6. He's trying to teach me how to put fluid in my car. You're standing on my engine. It's that easy? You just pour it in? Yes. Why was I nervous? I, don't know. I have no clue. What if I miss? That's why I was getting it. That's why I cost away Kevin. I'm basically a mechanic. If I break down, you don't have to worry about me. I was supposed to get my car serviced, but I never did. That's really it? Yes. That was so anticlimactic. <laughs> you did it. I really thought that was going to be a big experience. Get in a long distance relationship, they said. It'll be fun, they said. They were lying, by the way. I'm not really sure how my lens gets so unwell. Just said goodbye, my car's packed. I'm extremely tired. It's November 30th, and we are officially about to begin our trip home. We're not going straight there. Why? Because I don't think I'm capable of staying awake for 15 hours, and I'm not trying to hurt any of my animals or myself, so this is gonna take two days. Can you see Duncan? Duncan! I believe this is called kidnapping. I'm just a girl on a road trip And I'm ready to die I don't mean literally, I mean metaphorically. Like a little piece of me is probably gonna die on this road trip. I mean, try sitting in a car by yourself with only your thoughts and your animals screaming. Although the cats aren't crying right now, which is rare. They usually are screaming, but you try it for 23 hours and you let me know how it goes. I don't even know why I put mascara on. I always shed tears when I leave. Hate that everyone in my life I have to say goodbye to all the time and it just makes me sad. 2.05 p.m. on November 30th. We're on our way to Wisconsin. A few minutes later. I know there's like a 90% chance you can't hear me or I'm just screaming for no reason. I'm not really sure which one it is. I've been driving for maybe 30 minutes. It's 2.37. I don't remember what time I told you it was before. I already have screamed at someone. My goal starting now is no road rage. I have to tell you if I have road rage. See, I could have got mad at that truck just now for being loud, but I'm not. I'm not gonna give you too many details because that might scar you, but I also have a little bit of a stomach problem going on. So I'm not sure how long I'm gonna make it before... I gotta make a little pit stop. I even took Pepto-Bismol so this wouldn't happen, but it's happening. I had to stop. I'm really sorry it had to happen. I, like, you don't need the details. Like, I just, I had to go. Got myself a Red Bull. 20 ounces of pure heart attack. Slurp, slurp, slurp. Also, Pepto I took some of this before I left. It was not good enough. So I just chugged some more. We got pickles. Well, I brought these from Daryl's house. Mm. I also got this turkey wrap and some other snacks that I'm not willing to admit to you guys that I purchased. One of which is pork rinds. It's a guilty pleasure. Gerald introduced me to them. You just gotta not think about what it is you're eating. Let's go. fit cry. I have been in traffic for over an hour. It's very expected in Atlanta, so I'm not really shocked. <gasps> I thought I should update you guys on my bowel situation. The Pepto-Bismo is doing its job. I'm 75% through this Red Bull. Slurp, slurp, slurp. I have slipped up on my road rage a few times, but I've caught myself every time and I never finished the statement. So let's say I'm yelling at Stacy in her white Ford Explorer. I would say, F you, Stacy. But then I would stop before I called her a bitch. 
I feel like that's improvement. This little carpool lane, you see everyone just, wait, someone's gonna come. There they go. I can't go in that lane because although I'm traveling with three cats and a dog, I do not qualify to go in the carpool lane because none of those animals can operate a vehicle. It's gonna get dark in like an hour and a half. If I'm gonna talk to you guys, it's now or never. Do you guys remember when I went on a road trip by myself for the first time and I filmed it and I- a lot of you guys have been asking me Oh my god! A lot of you guys have been asking me how I'm managing driving by myself and having my animals. It's really not that bad. Although it's lonely. I'm a lone woman explorer. A lot of people when I moved to Florida were like, how did you take your cats in the car for that long? You just put them in there. So they're the least of my concerns. I just have to remember to let them go to the bathroom and give them some food and water. Other than that, they don't really need much from me. Okay, Prius. See? Mm. 422. Oh, yeah. People like you make me not have road rage. Moved right over out of the fast lane when they were going slow. We're in Tennessee, and you're the only tan I see. The last time I was driving through here, it was an intense rainstorm. The roads were flooding. Cars were literally like floating away. And my windshield wiper broke. And I had to have my hand outside of the window like this. And my windshield wiper like flew off and was hanging on to the side of my car by a thread. And I had to duct tape them back on in order to make it home because I needed them to work. Duncan's going potty. Probably not gonna stop for another three hours. So go potty. I'm gonna go potty. I'm really feeling um, like a single parent right now. Come over here so I can kick you in the face. Don't eat the milk jug. People are staring. And by people, I mean one very creepy old man in a truck. station in Kentucky and I was really scared but my cats need to go to the bathroom so I have a protector everyone say hello to Andrew Andrew and his salad also tell them what time it is it's late as hell no it's not it's like nine o'clock that's late for a girl to be alone okay, well, just scream it scream that I'm alone at a gas right, station whisper, whisper well it. you're on full volume oh. if you're wondering how you let your cats go to the bathroom you bring litter a litter pan <sighs> I'm a cat lady, what can I say? Hi guys, here's a litter box, use it. Cover it up so you guys can focus. Two hours later. Okay, can you see me? No. Am I about to go off of course into a strange neighborhood that I've never been in before? Because I saw something that looks semi-interesting, yes. Is it 10 o'clock at night? Yes. Could I die? Yes. Are these the adventures we live for? Yes. Oh my goodness, how did I stumble across a Christmas paradise? You guys have no idea, you're in for a treat. I'm so excited right now. How do I get over there? I'm lost. Maybe I should turn around. No, I got this. Oh, how do I get over there? This is so stinking cute. Okay, I will get there. Oh, here, let's turn left. Look at all the Christmas lights. Here, I'll zoom in so you can enjoy them more. There's someone in this little hut. North Pole Post Office? How did I get to the North Pole? I thought I was in Illinois. Me in the North Pole. Santa's sleigh? And they made that tree blue. Oh, do not enter, it's a one way. Oh, sweet Jesus. But I missed the whole beginning. I really wish I would have not went the wrong way. There is a car coming. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. It's a dinosaur and another dinosaur being birthed. I'm obsessed. <laughs> I know you don't care. This has made the whole trip worth it. I knew I took a detour for a reason. Hi, ho, hi, ho.
Ta-da. I suppose I should show you guys what 50 bucks gets you. That's right, I found the cheapest one. The cute animals do not come with a room in case you were wondering. This hotel is pet friendly. So they are allowed to be here. I have no complaints. She's a little outdated, but I think it gives it more character. We have this bathroom with a shower that even has a support rod. There's a sexy thing standing in the mirror too. It wasn't included in the price. It came for free. How nifty. They even have a specific towel for your makeup that's black. We have Duncan's water dish and another sexy thing. This is the grand entrance. I have turned on every single light bulb because it was a dungeon in here. A king bed made for a queen. They really were sparing on the pillow. <laughs> An expensive artwork piece. A nice throw blanket. I don't even want to know the germs I'm touching. And that's about it. It's officially December 1st. Merry Christmas. Oh, it's literally midnight. I brought in one article of clothing, which is a giant sweater dress that I'm going to use to sleep in. I should put that on. My eyes! That's probably the scariest thing you've ever seen. <sighs> Four and a half hours ago, I decided where I was gonna stay. I said, you know what, pick a town, book a pet friendly hotel. I have no idea how they decided to take me here. For the last hour and a half of my trip, I wasn't on a single road that had lines on it. They were barely paved. Some of them weren't paved. It was dirt roads. I had to call Andrew for most of it because I was genuinely concerned that someone hacked into my phone, but I ended up here. And I'm not really sure how, but I promise you tomorrow, I am not straying away from um, a major highway. Best Western is coming in clutch with a makeup remover wipe. I'll review it for you. These makeup remover wipes suck. I mean, it's taking it off, but I'm pretty sure it's also taking off my eyelashes. <laughs> I feel like I haven't said anything of substance to you today, but sometimes I just don't have a lot to say. Am I completely safe here? Uh, I don't really think so. I double locked the door. I do have a guard dog, even though he doesn't guard anything. I have more faith in Dobby to protect me than Duncan. Someone will alert me if there's danger and I'll figure it out. Yes. That's what bad beaches do. My lips are also really chapped and I have no chapstick. So Andrew told me to use lotion. Okay. That's a lot. I like my lips. So this is probably going to be toxic. If the vlog never ends, it was the lotion. This is how long my real hair is. Just so you're not fooled. The very nice lady at the front desk gave me free waters. Slurp, slurp, slurp. <sighs> Good night. I didn't sleep literally at all. Just a reminder, if you have the ability to do so, tip the people that come in and clean your room for you. Just a nice thing to do. Where's my phone? I don't think I brought it. I didn't forget my phone. It was already in my car. I just couldn't find it. But because I went back to the room to look for my phone, I found my battery charger. I would have forgot my camera battery charger on day three of August. Sometimes you just gotta go with your gut. My gut told me to go find my phone. I have spent the past month or two really reflecting on everything that I have. If I'm going to be honest with myself and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I really need Vlogmas this year because I lost myself. I don't think I've been dis genuine disingenuine I don't feel like I've been lying to you guys but I just feel like I kind of lost focus for a while of why I started doing YouTube in the first place I've talked to Andrew about this and to Gerald and just to people in my life about how I feel like my heart wasn't in the right place for the past maybe almost two years you can get so caught up in the business side of things and the work side of things and I found that I was just feeling so lonely I I never used to feel lonely when I really opened up and shared with you guys and was just honest with you guys and had my heart in the right place. I was uploading videos for the right intentions. A lot of people either do this because they love it or they do it because they want to make money. I've always done YouTube because I'm absolutely in love with it. I have never had a community of people and for the first time ever you guys gave me that. We were so close and I know I kind of talked about this in day one of Vlogmas how I just I really want to reconnect with you guys this year. I guess I'm saying sorry. It's also life, but I think I really needed to figure out myself and figure out who I am and I'm 23 now. I'm not 20 anymore. I'm not 19 anymore. Becoming an adult 
but I'm not saying I haven't worked hard and made videos that I'm proud of but I just think that I could have been more genuine and it makes me really sad to think that I lost myself for a little while not no more I just wanted to throw that in here because I feel like this road trip has been very hectic and stressful for me I don't know that's something I've been thinking about a lot and I think you guys have been very patient and graceful and you have let me grow no I just feel very lucky to have you you guys are way more important to me than you know and I'm gonna start treating you like that I feel like I detached myself from it because I was so afraid of losing you guys I've had a major case of imposter syndrome the past two years not because I'm not being who I am but because sometimes I just feel like who am I to deserve all of you guys being so sweet and being so nice and all of your love I think that was also a part of why I emotionally kind of detached myself from it because my mental health was so up and down over the past few years that I just have myself convinced that I don't deserve you guys even though I know I do and you guys are very sweet and the kindest people and the sweetest people with the best hearts I don't know basically imposter syndrome is real therapy is helping me understand that I can feel close to you guys I can give you guys a piece of me because I do deserve it I am who I am I feel like I'm unapologetically myself online so hopefully hopefully that's not a problem anymore I'll keep going to therapy about it I was afraid of like something out of my control happening and I would lose you guys and then I would feel so lost I'm just not going to let that affect our relationship anymore because I really really need you guys at the end of the day it's as simple as that this has always been my outlet and my place to just be 100% genuinely who I am I'm just Samantha and sometimes I'm gonna piss you off and sometimes we're gonna cry together and we're gonna love each other anyways it's now 8 30 let's plug the address in I think I want to get smoothie king for breakfast let's go could I get a mango fest smoothie um no that'll be it you guys can keep the change thank no you worries. thank you have a great day you too I've had one smoothie king smoothie before and I didn't like it slurp 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 it's very good I was gonna get one that was bigger than this And if a single one of you comments about the way I look right now. You're fake. Let's just say, um, before I left Georgia, I went to an ATM and got cash out because I have the worst luck with people stealing my debit card information and using my money to buy themselves things. I used my debit card once in the past two days. Once. And what happened? Somebody used my card to buy themselves tickets to Seattle. I've never even been to Seattle. It happens so much, it's funny at this point. And that's what I've been dealing with for the past four hours. I was on the phone with my bank. I was on the phone with Delta trying to figure out how do I get my money back? I am in central Wisconsin and I'm ready to take over. I'm here. Oh my god. Thank you. 